It covers the victim's head like this, and then you pull this chain. That's how it works. It's a simple design. That's the top, a cloth bag in the middle, and the most important part, where the mechanism and the blades are located. How do these blades work? They work when you pull on this chain from afar. I'll demonstrate for you. When you pull on the rope, the blades all converge inwards. Building it is one thing, but how in the world do you get this onto someone's head? Kung Fu master Ken Yung needs all his 30 years experience to discover the answer. I think, other than throwing in the normal way, another method would be to lip up and toss it onto someone's head from above. Throwing strength and accuracy are the first things that need to be practiced. Timing is also crucial, as the victim won't just stand there to be targeted. Did such an incredible weapon exist? Could it really work? Jung and his team are put to the test. First, he'll try it the most straightforward way. As this flying guillotine weighs one and a half kilograms, hitting a target accurately is no easy task. But after repeated attempts, Jung concludes that it can be done. Wrist power needs to be great. You also need a strong arm and good accuracy. If you manage all three, you've got a good chance of success. Jung reckons that warriors in ancient China would have been skilled in leaping. He thinks they may have deployed the flying guillotine while in mid-air. With the aid of a trampoline, Jung's assistant attempts to do just that. He's a trained stuntman, but even he finds it difficult. It takes five attempts before he finally does it. You need a certain level of Kung Fu skill before you can master the fine guillotine. A lot of vigorous training is needed. Emperor Yongzheng had the motive. His craftsmen had the knowledge. His assassins had the skill. But did the flying guillotine ever really exist? Fact or fiction? No one knows for sure. Only one thing is certain. If Chinese craftsmen did build the legendary flying guillotine, it would have been the ultimate kung fu killer. Violent.